took more than a pair of giant scissors to cut the ribbon celebrating the new face of one of Washington County's oldest government buildings. It took about six months to the day for contractors to finally finish the remodeling of the old Washington County building off St. George Boulevard and 200 East. When we started tearing into the exterior of this building, we recognized that there were some safety concerns in different areas. And um, for example, the West Wing, um, we realized it wasn't structurally sound on the roof. And um, so we went back, re-engineered it, tore the whole thing off, redid it. And even with all of that additional work that they weren't anticipating, they were still able to literally basically meet the deadline. The building, which currently houses the county assessor's office, recorder's office, information technology, building maintenance, court support services, and justice court, not only needed a new look, but suffered from a leaky roof. We just let the justice court put buckets out every time there was a rainstorm and you'd go up there and there was all kinds of buckets around and and um, as us commissioners started talking about this project, we started to realize that it might be a few more years before we um, uh, actually built an administration building. And so therefore we ought to address maybe this leaky roof. It took about 20 different contractors to reconstruct the building, part of which was built back in 1966, with several additions in later years. This made the task of remodeling even more difficult. Construction crews also completed all their tasks while employees continued their day-to-day -day operations. I think whenever you uh, work with, uh, with, with uh, build a building with people inside of it, it's always a challenge. And secondly, it's, it's location and, the, and how close it is to the street makes it stand out more. And so it was important for the design and the construction to make sure it looks, looked really good and because it's right there, it's right there in your face. County commissioners made several acknowledgments to those involved and those who couldn't be there, including design architect Greg Mathis, who passed away during the construction process. His wife accepted a tribute on his behalf. The remodeling ended up being a little more than what everyone bargained for and the unknown and unforeseen behind these walls. We started out with a construction cost of 1.258, I believe, and we ended just above 1.5. So um, I think that um, although we did have, it's probably the largest project that I've done that has had the largest amount of change orders, but um, it was no fault of really the counties or Watts Construction. For that matter, it was really just um, let's do the job, let's do it right the first time, and let's make this building a place where um, it can stand very strongly for, you know, years and years to come. With the continued non-stop growth in the area, the county is looking to expand. While currently residing in two buildings, the county plans to put a request for proposal to build a new administration building. The idea is to construct the new administration building on the corner of Tabernacle and 100 East, where the Red Cliffs Desert Reserve currently resides. It's difficult at times when we get an, you know, an older um, person that comes in and um, it's taken a lot of effort for them to make it into one building just to tell them that they have to go across the parking lot into another building. And um, with the growth of the county, it's just, we are really actually bursting out the seams with these two buildings. So we are going to work on a new administration building. Once that gets put together, um, we'll be able to house all of our departments with under one roof with a um, elevator that allows like, you know, great um, ADA accommodations. And, um, you know, in older buildings, that's really difficult. Once that building is completed, phase two of this building would be remodeled to accommodate the justice court needs. The future of the current administration building is unknown at this time. However, there is a concern about parking. Um, we struggle sometimes having enough parking spaces for everyone. So we don't know if it will eventually be um, taken down in order to accommodate parking or um, or just the growth of the county in general, but um, we figured we have time to think, to really think through it and decide, you know, what would be the best. The end goal would be to design the new building for a completion date around May of 2022. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.